Are you serious? Are you serious? Mexico volcano exploded. And we shouldn't be shocked by that because actually, according to the word of God, the mountains are going to melt. I'll show you that in a minute. But let me give you an update on what's going on here. Mexico's Popocatepelli volcano erupted again late last night in an explosion that sent ash falling down on a few towns below. The ma major cities were covered in ash from the volcano that forced the airport to close down. You know, I've heard Mike from around the world talk about ash, that soon that the, you know, that there's going to be so much ash all the time that planes won't be able to fly. They're going to have to... People are going to be wearing masks, you know, because it's bad for the lungs. Um, there's just a lot going on. There's a uh, matter of fact, my son, Bart, uh, Charles Begley, who has his own website, pretty powerful. I have to tell you, it's called Crusader, the Crusader Journal. He uh, did a, he did actually an article about the fact that there's 38, 38 active volcanoes right now that are spewing ash, smoke or erupting simultaneously around the world right now not big explosions but there, there's gas or smoke or ash you know or a little bit of lava flowing but they're alive not counting the ones that are active that could go and uh, and and we're getting explosions every other day now but the volcanic eruptions were predicted to increase this year maybe it's from the pull from planet planet x planet 7x nibiru um you know, something is shaking the heavens and the earth. And that's another scripture. You can find that in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 26. The Lord said, not only will he shake the heavens, but he has said he'll shake the heavens and the earth also. Well, I think that's exactly what we are witnessing right now. Matter of fact, uh, let me just give you a scripture. This earthquake that went off, it's uh, this volcano that erupted. I mean, it's. You know, there's 25 million people that live roughly within 62 miles of this volcanic crater. And so, uh, <laughs> you know, we need to pray for them because this thing, go, we're just constantly seeing earthquakes. They're still digging through the rubble in Ecuador. 413 are dead. That number is expected to rise. Over 2,000 injured. 41 dead in uh, Japan. 1500 injured and uh, we just and now we have this solar flares are on their way we had a massive solar flare uh, on the sun that is going the CMEs that are coming are going to hit the earth tomorrow but let me tell you what the word of the Lord you might say why is why is all these things happening God said you are going to he's going to get our attention he is tired of the pagan worshiping he is tired of the idol worshiping he is tired of the outright blasphemous spirit of the Antichrist that's rising in the last day. The more wicked man gets, the more of the Antichrist spirit that becomes evident, the more earthquakes, volcanoes, typhoons, solar flares, fireballs uh, are going to take place because God wants you to know he is the only true and living God. Let me prove it to you. David the psalmist said in Psalms 97, The Lord reigneth. <laughs> Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of islands, the islands be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlighten the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images that boost and boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. So in other words, the Lord is going to get our attention. And uh, I think he's got our attention. People are starting to ask questions. What's going on? 
Why is the earth shaken? Why are the animals acting differently? Why are they hiding? What's going on? And why are the, the, the wealthy, the very elitists, some of the global elitists, I'm talking, why are they digging underground cities all over the earth? What are they, what are they hiding from? Or who are they hiding from? Are you serious? Are you saved? Get a cup of coffee and just think this over a minute. Ask yourself some questions. Why does the Bible say the very things that are happening now? Are you serious? 